12 million tons of plastic, the equivalent of the weight of over 20,000 A380 jets, are estimated to end up in the oceans every year. As a result of overproduction, the underlying take-make-dispose model of the economy, and inadequate waste management. How can we tackle the plastic pollution crisis? Within its value chain, a company should eliminate and minimise unnecessary plastic, design packaging for reuse and recycling, opt for more sustainable materials, and improve end-of-life management. Even in the best scenario, where a company employs all of those strategies, it will still have unavoidable plastic waste leakage. To compensate for the plastic pollution they cannot yet prevent, companies can invest in extended producer responsibility schemes and plastic credits projects. An EPR scheme is a policy approach where producers are held responsible for the costs of end-of-life management of their products or packaging. EPR schemes have positive effects up and down the value chain, making them an ideal tool to push the economy towards circularity. However, they can take many years to design and successfully implement. That's when plastic credits enter the scene. Plastic credits are transferable units representing a specific quantity of plastic that has been prevented from entering the environment through collection and or recycling. Projects that generate plastic credits can jumpstart and complement EPR schemes by driving funds towards circular infrastructure. Plastic crediting is an innovative financial tool that can bring investment into plastic waste collection systems and new recycling ventures. This new form of finance can also drive social and environmental improvements through the value chain. For example, they support local economies provide living wages for waste pickers and generate new job opportunities. Plastic credits must be generated from new, additional activities in order to guarantee investment in increased collection and recycling capacity. Transparent reporting, monitoring and independent auditing of waste management and recycling systems are all key components of credible plastic crediting. What comes next? Civil society, businesses and governments working together on plastic credits is one way to bring increased capacity and accountability to waste management projects. Global cooperation to increase the circularity of plastic is crucial. We can all be part of the change. Find out more at Triple R Initiative.